sullen and he said a weak voice as if he was just about to die i told you that i'd support you with whatever choice you make but you definitely told me no last time i think this is too harsh L what are you talking about what the hell was in my bag for him to say that i asked back feeling startled but i didn't answer i deliver it to the rightful owner so don't worry tay was a bit flustered T I trusted you when something like this happened before. Um. Red couldn't continue and just dropped his head. He seemed to tear up. Hiran, I'm sorry if I misunderstood you, but. No, stop. I was just stupid. The thing I wanted to tell you today, getting all excited because of that, I was just. That's just how it is. Hey! Red handed me my bag, and he walked into his room without saying anything more. No, oh, let's... I opened the bag but couldn't find anything since it already went to the rightful owner. Why was someone else's stuff in my bag? What the hell was in it? And Tay was flustered. I don't remember that crucial thing that spawned all this conflict with Red. I feel like cold wind was blowing in the holes in my memories. It was as if that cold wind blew all of Red's kindness, too. It's as if someone just cut out my memories. Master. Master. Yan was watching from afar and came towards me. He saw me spacing out and grabbed my hands tightly. Are you guys okay? Red's not being himself, too. Master, are you okay? Yeah. What's with this dramatic song? I nodded feebly. To be honest, I have no idea if I'm okay or not. I just answered automatically and nodded. I should first change my clothes. Master? I gently shook off his hands. I left worried Eon behind and walked into my room. Drink that bottle! Drink that bottle! I buried myself in my bed. I turned my phone on again. That date's not right. I feel like I've lost all my memories of the last couple of days. If not, the dates wouldn't be all wrong. Besides, I can't remember anything from these past few days. I stared at the... At the my desk in my bed, and I looked at the glass bottle on it. I didn't remember the bottle at all. My head hurts. I slowly closed my eyes. Um, this is bad. I hope I didn't get the bad ending. Ripped pages. Can you feel your relationships turning into ruin? There's a huge cry. Forget everything. And relish in the pain of not being able to remember anything. Or else it'll be too unfair, writing every single thing you did with those boys as if they're such beautiful memories when you don't even remember me. So be more taunted. <laughs> We're in trouble! <laughs> I see the familiar ceiling through my squinted eyes, and beside me someone kept shouting, Who? Master, Master wake yeah. up! This is bad. Who? Master! Master? You don't even remember that? <laughs> they are your dolls. 
I heard a strange voice in my head suddenly felt like bursting. It's not time to be asleep, Master. Ian? We're in trouble, Master. The blonde boy was in tears. I was so surprised to see that and came to my senses right away. Ian, what's wrong? What happened? Red. Red. Uh-oh. Disappeared. What? Can't find his belongings, and he's not answering his phone. I think he ran away. No, not that. I stood up right away, and I hurriedly put away the bed sheets. Red! Not red. It's already been a week since Red left the house. Ah, this is a bad ending, I know it. The first couple of days, everyone, including me, ran around everywhere searching for him. We looked in all the places he might have gone to, but we couldn't find a single trace of him. Where the hell did Red, my doll, disappear to you? And one more thing. My memories were becoming more and more strange. I haven't told anyone yet, but I realized that my time was flowing differently from others. Because of that, I don't remember anything from the day before or anything that happened in the past. So every morning, I have to remember again that the dolls have been become human and that Red has disappeared. And all those memories start from the creepy voice that only I can hear. That scary voice tells me in a playful voice to remember it. Strangely, whenever I hear that voice, I recall parts of my lost memories. Besides, the voice was too clear to think that I was he hearing things. But everyone was already depressed about Red missing, and I couldn't make them worry more. So I wasn't able to tell anyone about the weird things happening with my memories. But the next day... I even forgot the fact that everyone is worried. What the hell's happening to me? Oh, I don't know. Final, finally, the exams were here. Red's not here. I mumbled to myself and crammed the memory into my head like an obligation. Now I have to take the bus by myself at the academy. I was told that Red took me every day, but I can't remember. Lance stood in front of the school gate. I waved my hands. Lance is the discipline guide. Probably. That must be why he's standing there. Huh? You? It was a face I haven't seen before. Who is it? Who? A member of the Jarrow Club. Try to remember. Uh, uh, hello? Hey, long time no see. Uh, you still haven't heard anything from Red? No. We might really have to cancel the play. We barely finished changing the script. They changed the script? Anyways, regardless of whether we cancel it or not, we'll have to hand over the script to the festival committee. I still can't believe that Red just disappeared without saying anything. But on one hand, I feel like Red will just suddenly appear and say, Ta-da! All the other members believe that, too. You too, right? I carefully nodded my head. All I have to make sure we're all prepared to rehearse again when Red comes back. Lance's standing there just in time. I should go hand over the change script. The club members took out a thick stack of papers from his bag. Oh, that's the change script. He approached Lance. I followed him. And when we got close, Lance looked at us. You're a member of the drama club. Lance recognized him first and said hi. Yeah, you remember me? I saw you at the comedian once. Is the play still on? I don't know. Red has to come for us to do it. It must be difficult. But I just feel like Red will come back, so we haven't stopped rehearsing. In that sense, here, take it. It's the changed script. Lance took the script with a question mark on his face, and his face hardened. He looked at me with a stiff expression. Why is he looking at me like that? The script was changed. Yeah, go over it. Then why didn't you say? Huh? It's nothing. Lance looked at the script once again and stared at my face. I didn't know why he was looking at me like that, so I just stared back. Then I'll hit it first. See you later. He waved at me and bowed back. And as soon as the club members disappeared, Lance approached me. So the script was changed. Yeah, I heard that. Why didn't you tell me? Huh? What's he saying? If I had known, I'd have let you read it before the exams. Lance mumbled in a small voice. 
Oh, come on. Why? <sighs> English dictionary? I think we need to remember. That's the correct answer. The words math notes flashed into my mind, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't say it out loud. Are you not remembering it? Huh? My heart sank. Did he notice there was something wrong with my memories? Nats looked at me with interrogating eyes. No, that's, that's, of course I remember. I tried to get away with it. And I'll be going to the classroom. See you soon. I said bye to Lance. I could tell he wanted to talk more, but I ignored it and ran off. It can't be. The day has finally come. So he plopped onto her desk looking despaired. I'll just be satisfied by taking the exams. Oh, exams! 